Hi, I'm Nikolai from Vola. And I'm Adam from Vola. Good. good, yeah. Been a good few days in Finland. Yeah, always happy to be here. On that show, we didn't have our gear. It didn't uh, arrive. Yeah, we had some problems on that mm. show. It t- still turned out uh, just fine, but uh, this was a little bit more relaxed on the on the big stage with a mm. again a great crowd. It was also a great crowd last time, but nice to play on our own instruments this time <laughs> and not borrowed ones from all over the place. So it was was a great feeling. Yeah, really, really great feeling and. Uh, special feeling opening the main stage like besides actually playing on the main stage mm-hmm. but also opening it it's it feels like uh, like welcoming people to the festival and yeah. them welcoming us in return i think we're still so inexperienced that we haven't <laughs> we haven't it's not something we know what should handle mm-hmm. situation like that we haven't yeah. i don't remember having opened the festival or played the, no. the first uh, on a on a day, we I, we mm. didn't open the festival. We opened today, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Day, exactly. Yeah. So for the day, yeah. Um, it's not something we thought about at all. Mm. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, Grass Pop was really cool. Mm. I also went to Copenhagen just as a as a fan and had a good mm. time. It's it's always uh, good to be out and and listening to music and at festivals is a great way of uh, listening to stuff that I don't know already. So uh, yeah. Looking forward to chill for today. Also, just going around outside and listening mm-hmm. to different stuff and relaxing and not being the guy up there, which is amazing. But it's also nice now after having done it today. Mm. My job is done. Yeah, and yeah. I can yeah. relax. <laughs> yeah. uh, not too much party, but just you know, relax and. Relax. Uh, yeah. Did you? What, what did you see? Any cool bands to come now? I saw my friends in a band called The Scratch from Ireland, which is really cool, like mm. Irish uh, folk mixed with metal. Uh, so I spent a lot of time with them as well. Uh, and so I didn't see much more than that because we were heading to Grass Pop the next day. At We had a flight very early, so <laughs> I was leaving very early from Copenhagen. Yeah. So I was just there for the for the day. Uh, so I didn't, yeah, didn't see enough. Maybe it's also about trying the food at festivals. So I had some yeah. of the food, if, yeah. and like seeing trying the different stalls. What was the food? It, it was. It was. <laughs> I had an amazing uh, vegetarian or vegan miso burger. It was Ooh. called. It was fucking good. You would have liked Damn. it. I, it was so good. I had it twice. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Are you guys vegan actually? I am. Adam is vegan. Yeah. It's always scary to play a new song. Yeah. Uh, it's. Uh, but I think people have been reacting well to it. People yeah. are already clapping in the middle of it, like at the yeah, yeah. It's a song that along. invites interaction, which is something you never realize when writing it. And then when you play it live, it's cool that people they just do stuff mm. in certain parts of songs. With that's always a good sign yeah. when people are doing something, whatever it is. Yeah, booing or whatever. <laughs> Throwing things, yeah, no, no, <laughs> but uh, but just that people actually apparently that song invites to a certain behavior in a part, you know. A lot of songs don't, they're mm. just great, and you listen to them. But it's nice with the song where because we're not a band that asks our audience to do much, yeah, we don't ask them to do a, a pit or <laughs> whatever, we, people just do what they want in our set, mm. so peop, it's very much up to them. So it's very special when they apparently because it happened also in grass pop and people start clapping at the same places and that's just apparently something that just happens. Yeah. So yeah, mm-hmm. that's cool. Yeah, it's it's a nice feeling, and uh, people seem energized by the song also. Yeah. It's, uh, we have some, I would say, maybe heavier, but mainly. Darker in the mood and in the in yeah. the theme, um, it's 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 not that the song "Break My Lying Tongue" leads into a heavier song. Yeah. Um, it's more just the natural. That's the natural ending of the song. But there are other songs on the album that, are, yeah, go in some darker places than that one for sure. But it's also just an interesting if, if effect to play with people's expectations mm-hmm. on how long a, a, a thing is, and it's. Yeah. Uh, way better than a part being too long. 
Yeah. yeah. And it's a good way of navigating people to listen to the song again. Yeah, Not that that was the case, <laughs> but it. I think it was like the whole song was there, and then that part happened. Uh, like was the last written as well. So it's not, it's it's just, uh, I think it's very cool that, that people want to hear more of it. So And I love that people are discussing if... Yeah, yeah. Like yeah exactly. <laughs> and it's the same thing with also the keyboard sound. In the intro, people are also like, ah, is it, is it too much or something? But what's so cool about that sound is that sound was the one that wrote the whole song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It started with that piano sound, and that was made, what made all of the things happen afterwards. That mm-hmm. inspired inspired everything else. So that sound had to be there. Yeah. In a way, it's just an evolution of yeah. evolution of the song. So yeah. it's it felt very natural. And the same with the outro. We didn't debate about it being long. No. I think we talked about it. Maybe live it could be fun to try it longer. We'll see. But it's also nice to play with. To yeah. Yeah. Something. Something we don't do too much is unexpected transitions. Yeah. And this is one of more mm. unexpected. So that was interesting to try. So I think our fans are maybe also not used to us doing an yeah. unex- unexpected thing yeah. in a song. A- Asker is the lyrical mastermind behind it, and he is not. Uh, he doesn't have a theme in mind when he starts writing the lyrics. We when we have a part written instrumentally, like guitar and drums, then he sa- starts, you know, uh, mumbling some lyrics, mm. and usually those are the ones that end up being there. So it's very intuitive for him. And We Will Not Disband was just one of the lines in that song that felt the strongest. Yeah. So it's not that he ma- set out to make a song about disbanding. or mm. he, he, he writes lyrics and then afterwards he looks at them and tells the fans, this is what it is to me. But he never thinks about it when actually writing the song. Yeah. So, yeah. But I, I remember him mentioning that it kind of dives into childhood nostalgia a bit. And also this just the strong relationship where you feel like you won't disband you feel the strength of it yeah so that's the meaning for us now as a band i think for for as a band member not having written the lyrics it it can feel like yeah it can be about us in a way but Mm. it's not the intention of the song when writing it there's all there's always pressure with like the next album looking back on your previous stuff but at least for me i tried to close myself off from that and just see that in a in a vacuum of course it's not possible but i think yeah, even if you made steps. an album that didn't have the success there would be a lot of pressure on getting success then or like breaking through so no matter what when you have made one album there's a little bit it's just a different thing than making the first album Mm. There's also pressure there, but but yeah. when you've made one album, then the people who have heard that album now have an expectation about number two. Mm. And no matter how how little I think about it or much I think about it, it might influence you in a way that you're not aware of. Mm. Yes. Yeah. But it's not something we... I didn't feel yeah. more pressure than the other albums. No. It it's... was harder to write, but that was because we did more tours. Yeah. So there was less time to just yeah. be focused and getting into yeah. it. We need to figure out how to write music uh, more in yeah. in segments and not in just in one go. Big chunk. I think the biggest pressure has been the deadline pressures. Yeah. yeah. That's that's definitely something that we feel. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. They have to be there. They have to be there. That's that's yeah. necessary for sure. Would you would you release them if there weren't any deadlines? Because I guess there are bands that, that mm. you know it would take longer yeah. than, it, than it had to, yeah. maybe. Yeah. And, and sometimes you get a good idea by getting that pressure. Some songs that happen right in the end where things really needed to happen were yeah. some of the best. So yeah. exactly. it's hard to... But, uh, but on the other hand, it could also be something that destroys you if there's too much yeah. pressure. So yeah. it can go both ways. I think it was perfect amount of pressure. There was a few deadlines we pushed back. Yeah. <laughs> and then so... We push and we get pushed back, so it's a healthy mix of us also knowing mm. that it's just a deadline that somebody it's just some dates on a piece of paper. Yeah. Who, who. There's a, a European tour coming up. There are two to be now dates. Yes. Are they finished? Dates. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Helsinki and Tampere. Mm. I'm uh, really excited about it. I'm, 
I, I enjoy just thinking about the tour. Yeah, I try Same. to do that from time to time. Just thinking, Same. thinking through. I I love uh, looking forward to stuff. Sometimes it's even better than the actual thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just yeah. thinking about it. Uh, I love it. So it's gonna yeah, be nice. It's gonna be really, really nice. Hopefully, new heights for us and uh, mm. yeah. Thank you for the support and uh, yes. yeah, we're very really honored so that you're listening to us. If you are, and if you're not, uh, that's also cool. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, thank yeah. you so much, and hopefully, we'll see you in Finland, in Finland or in November. In other countries. Yeah. yeah.